Hey, how's it going everybody? Scott here. Uh, today I've got a quick video on how to improve the quality of your photos in Forza Horizon 4. For this, you will need either the Xbox One S or the Xbox One X as they both have the 4K HDR that we need. Then we're going to be using Adobe Photoshop just to convert these images and then straight into Lightroom just to give them a quick edit. So let's jump right in. Okay, here I've got the Lamborghini Urus. Uh, I have my settings on the left hand side if you want to copy these. Um, nothing too fancy, just kind of making it look super realistic. Um, let's get rid of the damage. Okay, so let's clear the HUD. And then hit the guide button. Y to capture a screenshot. Just give it a second. And it pops up. And we'll click to hold and open. Okay, now as you can see at the top you can see 4k what we need is we need this to say 4k HDR um, it's not showing right now because I have the Elgato plugged in um, but what I'll do is I'll just put in a screenshot here of what it does look like um, and then again once you actually click into this image uh, you'll see an option to show HDR again I can't show you this right now because my Elgato is plugged in so I couldn't even take a screenshot with the Xbox doing this so I just had to take a photo on my camera phone and just throw it up so here you go um, once you have this then you're good to go um, right let's jump into Photoshop and I'll show you how to convert these so that we can actually work with them in Lightroom okay so I had saved all my screenshots to an external hard drive and um, the Samsung T5 so what we want to do is plug it into the computer and open it up um, it'll create a folder for you called game DVR if we click into this I've already taken a few others you can see there's duplicates of each image. Essentially, the HDR is a .jxr file, which is just JPEG extended range. It's Microsoft created it. Um, and then your regular screenshot is, the, is just a PNG file. So what we want to do is we want to take the .jxr files and edit those, but we can't just throw them into Lightroom. So what we need to do is just separate them and convert them in Photoshop. So here's how we do that. First, we just want to click details and do type. So we have all our .jxr files. Let's just create a new folder here. So we'll just call this .jxr. We'll take these and just drag them into here, just like that. Then what we want to do is just open up this file, right click here and create a new folder again, and just do this as .psb. You can name it whatever you want. Um, PSB is just a large format. Uh, document on Photoshop. Okay, so once we have that, we'll jump into Photoshop here, and what we want to do is just click Window and just click Actions here, it'll open it easy. Now I've created a couple of these already, but what we're going to do is we're going to create a rule, an action basically, so you have multiple images, you don't want to have to do this individually for each one. So if we come over here, um, we'll just create a new set. So we'll do this as, I'm just gonna, for the purpose of the video, test, click OK. Once you have that open, we click here, new uh, action, and then this will be test, save, one. Um, you can call it whatever you want. Right, so what we wanna do now is we want to hit record. So if we come here and click open, here's our .jxr files, right? We're just gonna take the first one, like so. It's gonna open this, we'll get rid of this, don't worry. Um, now what we want to do is file, save as. Down here, um, what we'll do is we'll put it into the PSB file that we've made, and then down here what we want to do is select PSB. Click save and then close. Just like that. Um, let's open up the actions again. It's still recording. We hit stop. And what we can do with this one here is we can actually delete this. Like so. And that's it. That's basically it. Now all we need to do is run this. So what we have to do is just let's go back to our PSB so we don't duplicate this. We just delete that. To run this, all we simply have to do is click File, go down to Automate, go over to Batch, and here's uh, our action that we have just made. So test, and it's the test save one. So we want to choose the source. So if we click Choose, 
we want it to be the .jxr and we'll select folder. Then we come over here, we want the folder where it's going to be saved. It's a, you click choose and we we'll click the PSB select folder and then just double click this here. So override action and then click OK. And what it's going to do is open each image, save it, close it, open e each image, save it and close it. And it's just going to do this whole process. So this is essentially making sure that you don't have to do this one by one for each photo. And that's it. It's simple. If we go down here, you can see all the PSB files loaded here. Right, let's jump into Lightroom, get these imported in there and do a couple edits. Okay, so in Lightroom, what we want to do is import our PSB files. So we click File, Import Photos and Videos. Then what we can do is we can just open up this, select them all, just drag them in here. They'll open all here, they're all ticked, and then we'll click Import down here. Give it a couple seconds and they are imported there. So we'll click this one here, we'll click develop. And that's basically all there is to it guys, it's not too difficult. I am busy working on presets for each of the seasons and for nighttime as well. The The light varies on all so sometimes your settings, they, don't, they won't match on each. So if you have any interest in that guys, let me know in the comment section below. I'll try to get them finished and I'll let you know where you can grab them. If you found this video helpful, it'd be great if you could give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Head on over to my Instagram, at Forza Stills. As well, if you want to collab and get multi-car shoots, just send me a DM on Instagram. I'll get back to you and we'll get a session going. But that's it, guys. Uh, hope you have a good one and uh, catch you on the next one.